All right, guys, uh, new project today. Working on an Alice, just kidding. I bought this wonderful piece of equipment right here from my grandpa. And uh, it's been sitting for oh, around 10 years or so. So yeah, we're gonna see if we can get it running, get it to drive out of its hole, and then drive it back to my place a few miles up the road. Uh, yeah, let's go. All right, so, uh, I don't know if you can see down in there, but we made sure she was free. It still spins over. I think that's just on compression there. I don't feel like messing with it. So, you know, that's enough for me to throw a battery in it. Uh, I pulled the air cleaner off. That was full of a mouse nest. She's seen better days, but yeah, everything still moves. We'll see what it does. Uh, I think next step's going to be, uh, well, I guess I could check the oil on that side. How in the... Oh, looks good yet. Yep, smells good. And just fumble around here for a little bit. All right, it's so got oil. I'm just not going to suck a mouse nest in. Let's uh, throw a battery in it, see what it does. All right, battery's in. Let's see if she cranks. Oh, that is a nice interior. I forget to mention, I haven't even hardly looked at this truck yet. We just decided I wanted it, and we're going to make it run. It's okay. And towel in there for cleaning up later. <laughs> Seat barely even used. Okay, let's see here. This steering wheel is nice. Okay. I seem to have no power. Okay. Park. I got nothing. I guess we'll investigate electrical a little bit and I'll get back to you. All right, so uh, we got no power in the cab, and what I'm suspecting is that the wiring for the starter down there, because on these Chevys, you just got a thick cable that goes down to the starter, and then there's a wire that comes off the starter to give power to uh, the rest of the truck. And uh, I'm thinking that the uh, wiring down by the starter is probably chewed off. And, you know, I'm sure I could fit underneath there and all, but we're going to jump her some wires here and get some power in the cab and kind of do some diag here for a little bit. So I'll update you as I go. All right, so uh, we got some weird stuff going on in the dash in there, but I'm not worried about it right now. So uh, what I did was I cut into the loom here for the uh, engine harness, found the purple wire on GMs from like the 60s all the way clear through to the 90s. The purple wire is always your uh, starter wire, starter solenoid excite wire. So I just tapped into that. Uh, also, this is not the right way to do this. I just, I really didn't feel like going underneath the truck. So I tapped into that, got my wire here, and uh, seems to crank over pretty good. So uh, now I'm gonna focus on getting spark and get spark and fuel make it run then maybe i'll uh, probably not but anyway let's carry on i don't know if you can see it but you should be at least hear the snapping we got spark so that means something in the dash is doing what it's supposed to uh might just have to uh look at that slider thing in there for the ignition might not be engaging but anyway so we got spark it whirls over uh Let's give it some fuel and see if she'll roar her life, I guess. All right, so we're uh, got a little squirty bottle here of gas. I filled the vent up on the carb. We're going to crank her over and see what it does, I guess. Good. Oh, yeah, I suppose maybe we want it on all cylinders, huh? All right, give her. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, bitch.
ahead, keep going. That was, that was incredibly too easy. Well, let's see if we can make it run a little better. I had it running here and uh, was revving up on it and it had fuel just kind of doing stuff out of both of these orifices. If you revved it up, it would run fine and start to dry up and then as soon as you let off, it would blow it out of here. So uh, I'm gonna say the internals of this aren't doing what they're supposed to. So I'm gonna monkey with this and see if I can make it run a little better without tearing it apart and uh, and I guess we can try and get it up out of its hole here from there. Oh my God, I'm drowning! Yeah. It's running incredibly too well for having that going on. Yeah, so I'm gonna address that. All right, so we got her just, I disconnected the gas line because it was just blowing shit all over the place. Uh, we got it running off of just what we're dumping in the vent there. I got a rubber line coming off of the feed line Up into this bottle here. We're trying to pump the shit out of the tank I'm pretty sure it's mostly water because as soon as I disconnected that and let it run on gas that I just dumped in the vent It uh, yeah, that's what's coming out of there but Yeah, as soon as I did that it immediately started running better So we're gonna see if we can get this pumped out and uh, go from there All right, so we got all the gas pumped out of it uh, dumped about four gallons of good gas in it. I'm gonna throw the bottle back under there and fire it up um, Let it get clear once it gets clear then we'll hook the feedback up and we'll see how it runs Imagine that we dumped gal uh, four gallons of gas in it and now the key started working and go ahead and go hit it I got the uh, feed line hooked back up. We'll uh, see if it shoots everything back out of there again. the needle is not happy it worked. It worked. what does oh he's over here trying to run the dump bed well I'm trying to get the truck to run don't don't pump it it's plenty flooded Okay, hold on. I got a sneaking suspicion this is gonna make me take the top of this carb off. All right, crank it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull the top of the car off, see if I can get the needle to uh, quit being stuck. So uh, yeah, we'll do that and we'll get back to you. So I got the carb apart and uh, we destroyed the casket. So grandpa's in the shop over there seeing if he's got one laying around from his mechanic days. But uh, yeah, this uh, the float right here, she was sunk right to the bottom when we pulled it apart. But after a little bit of fucking with it, got it to float up and uh, we cranked it over. It uh, wasn't pushing fuel out past the needle anymore, so if he's got a gasket, we're gonna throw it back together. Well, amazingly enough, Grandpa had a new gasket on the shelf there. Said the price of the truck just went up, so. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna throw the top back on it and uh, see if it runs. All right, there we go. Got her back together, sitting here idling. We didn't do anything else to the car, but uh, get the float done stuck and throw a new gasket on it. Go run the dump bed up and down once. <laughs> dump bed even works. Go down. That's good. Now we gotta see if we can get her out of this hole.
well, there we go drove her out of its hole with a little bit of help now we'll uh, get some air in whatever tires don't have air in them and maybe see if we can get a Scotia brakes and tool her on down the road a few miles Alright, well we tried putting air in the tires and the uh, back rims are rusted half and two So we just got as much air in as I could because uh, you know they got tubes in them But uh, yeah, I only live but a few miles that way. So we're gonna see if we can just limp it home anyway uh, Wish me luck. Well aside from the violent vibration and the horrendous uh, exhaust fumes So far everything's going really well Wobble 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 well, we got all three gears, so that's a bonus. Only got about maybe a mile left to go. It's starting to act like we're running out of gas, so uh, that's not good. Well, we are down to a crawl now, but I have got literally a few hundred feet to go. Come on, buddy. Well, we're still chugging along, but uh, it's not going well. I gotta get around that corner and then we're home, but the next challenge is getting up the driveway. Well, we made her home. Go figure. I pull in the driveway, it immediately starts running better. So uh, if I had to guess, I would say something probably shook loose in the gas tank. Some funny bits in the car. Who knows? But we made her home. Uh, that's probably going to be pretty well it for this video. I guess uh, comment down below what you want to see us do with this thing, because I have no plans for it.